Hey guys, welcome back. Just put this quick video together to show you guys how to quickly change valve springs using uh, the method of putting each cylinder at top dead center in order to change the valve springs, to hold the valves up while you change the valve springs on each cylinder. A um, couple of important things to understand first is understanding the firing order of any LS based engine, which includes the Gen 3 and Gen 4 motors, LS1, 2, 3, 7, as well as the 5.3 liter, 4.8 liter, and 6.0 liter Vortex. Um, the firing order on all these LS engines is on the left-hand side of the screen. Um, it's 18726543. And you'll notice each of the cylinder heads are, are laid out with the odd bank on the driver's side, the even bank on the passenger side, and the front of the motor here in this description is, is to the right, so it's pointing to the right. The timing indicator is the other thing you'll need to understand, which will help you quickly get um, your first piston into top dead center. Moving the cam gear timing mark to the um, six o'clock position, and which will also line up your crank timing mark to the 12 o'clock position if your timing is set correctly, we'll put number one at top dead center. So showing you that real quick, number one is number one becomes the firing cylinder and number six is also at top dead center at the same time. So at this position of the timing indicator, this is the time to change number one and number six valve springs. If you rotate the crank 90 degrees clockwise, it will also rotate the cam gear 45 degrees clockwise as well. And at that position, the pistons that will be up are number eight and number five. So now's the time to change the valve springs on eight and five. And number eight will be your firing piston. If you rotate the crank gear another 90 degrees, putting the crank gear in the six o'clock position, and the cam gear at the nine o'clock position, the pistons that will be up will be number four and number seven, with number seven being the firing piston. If you then rotate another 90 degrees clockwise on the crank, your crank timing gear will be at the nine o'clock position, which will leave pistons number three and two up, allowing you to change the valve springs on those two pistons, on those two cylinders which will complete the valve spring change. And number two will be your firing piston. If you continue around, moving the crank back to 12 o'clock and the cam gear is now at 12 o'clock, number one and six will be up again and number six will be your firing piston. Another 90 degrees will then uh, put number eight and five up with number five being the firing piston. Another 90 degrees We'll put number four and seven back up with number four being your firing piston. And then another 90 degrees, the last 90 degree turn, we'll put number three and number two back up with number three being your final firing piston. And that concludes this video. Hope this was helpful.